composite backshell assembly procedure. Here are the tools you'll need. Tools such as soft jaw pliers, crow's feet, open end wrenches, and adjustable open end wrenches should not be used on composite coupling nuts. All of these types of tools generate point contact that squeeze the parts out of round, causing stress and possible component failure. In addition to the Glenair recommended torque values, Glenair strongly supports the torque values for composite parts described in the SAE document AIR6151. Do not use Loctite thread locking compounds. Loctite contains solvents that can cause severe degradation of the composite material and should not be used on plastics in general. Step 1. After wires are terminated, move the back shell forward and hand tighten onto connector. Be sure that the accessory teeth are engaged peak to valley. If inspection hole is present, verify proper engagement. Step 2. Mount assembly onto torque wrench and tighten coupling nut to the proper torque value. Using the TG70 strap wrench, be sure the flat face of the wrench comes in contact with the flats of the coupling nut, areas indicated in red. Important: Do not tighten coupling nut with the pointed end of the strap wrench, as this could damage the coupling nut. Proceed to torque coupling nut to proper value. Alternate torque method. When torquing a back shell with the strap wrench attached to 3 8 inch drive of an unmounted digital torque wrench, the proper torque value must be recalculated. Here is the formula for offset torque calculation. A copy of this document is available for download and is posted along with the video. A complete list of torque values is available for download as a supplemental document from the Glenair Video Library.